What's good everybody? JV Lewis back at y'all with a reaction video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. Any videos y'all want me to react to, hit me up. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, the start us app at JV Lewis77. Got a Patreon on $1 tier, JV Lewis. Hit the notification button to be alerted when I post new videos. Check out my Twitch gaming channel, JV Lewis, as I stream on Xbox One. Check me out on TikTok, JV Lewis77. And hit the memberships if you're interested in joining. Now what I'm about to react to is this week's the must-see top five moments from Impact Wrestling. So we got a lot going on, man. Uh, we got Private Party and Matt Hardy from AEW as the number one contenders for the tag team championships for the team for the Impact Tag Team Championships against the Good Brothers, and it looked like that Tony Khan and Jerry Lynn are clearly on the side of Private Party. But the thing is, is that Kenny doing this, all, so it's like, so they not all in this together, Kenny. And Dan Callis is doing their own thing. You would think in AEW, all these cats would be on the same page. But like I said, Kenny and them got this whole elite uh, bullet club thing or whatever with the Young Bucks and the Good Brothers. And it's like, yo, like I said last week, this is a conflict of interest. So I want to know what uh, Kenny think about this. And like, what is Tony Khan and him saying about, you know, like, cause you, you trying to take them belts off of the Good Brothers. And it's like, ain't that going to upset Kenny? You know what I mean? So, we gonna have some infighting within the brand. Uh, so, as we know, uh, Taya, she's being locked up. So, it's like, who is next for Deanna? You know what I mean? Uh, Kiara and Tasha Steele are supposed to be having some type of celebration as the new Knockouts Tag Team Championships, which I'm really happy for, excited about that. Uh What's next for Rich Swan? Since clearly, like, I do not like that he took the pin. I don't not like it. Uh, I think he's really been not made to look good in this whole thing with Kenny. I just don't like it. Uh, even though Moose is shining right now, I think Moose will be the next TNA. I mean, I keep saying TNA, fuck. The next Impact Champion, no doubt. Uh, Moose is really doing the thing with the promos and stuff like that. Uh, if this thing keep going with AEW, you know what I'm saying? I think Moose probably should be the one to take down Kenny, things like that. Because um, like I said, T TNA, I mean, <sighs> fuck. Impact got to look good, man. For the most part, I don't know if they've really been looking too good in all of this. Um, and I don't know what the direction is, you know. Like, you would think this would make both companies look good, but... They just can't, man, like, they just can't be shitting all over uh, Impact like that with AEW. Impact got to, you know, start putting some foot in each other's ass and some, some asses. But I do like that there's still the fuse in Impact going on. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just a couple of things with the whole AEW thing. So, all right, y'all. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to this top five. But definitely Rosemary is taking over control of this match. Rosemary filling in distance. Oh! oh. Still too fresh. It's interesting in our sport. You have to choose when you're going to do Tanil. What you going to do? Because your opponent has to be damaged enough for you to hit that move. Yeah, if you try to go for it too soon, your strength is just a wasted opportunity. So you've got to wear them down, wear them down, and then Tanil. get it. Oh! Oh! That's it. Okay. Okay. Huh. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I thought Rosemary had another move. Hmm. Really shows me a lot about Crazy ass Steve. Just glad that Rosemary got a friend. She just keep losing friends, man. As an old friend comes back. And what is this dude purpose, man? Like, does he do anything besides being her camera person or whatever? Alexander is not legal in this match. Not at all. You can see the rest of get back out there, but it's hard for these officials. Oh, what's up, what's up, uh, Matt Cardona? And like I said, what happened to Heath Slater? It, that was just like a little bit and done. Cardona, that illegal men in this ring. Brandon told doing what he can, but he understands that Josh Alexander is a hot. Oh, damn. There's no way he can chirp and strip. Oh, oh, it all starts to break down here. Oh, it's still legal. Oh, no, it's Fulton. Cover here. Referee makes the count. He got it. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, what's y'all opinion on Ace also? Do y'all think he's taking a whole step back? It just seemed like he's kind of taking a step back since 
he kind of got screwed out of the uh, championship. You know what I'm saying? Like last, like you know when they added all of, we was supposed to get a shiny. Added all them cats with Tessa and Michael Elgin, and, and it just seemed like that he was the last left man out. Uh oh. Oh, Nevaeh. Oh, hey. What I tell y'all? Look at Alicia. All hooded up. Oh, shit. I'm happy. <laughs> Yo, Alicia ain't gonna say nothing. Oh, Oh no, oh no, oh no. There you go, get out of there. There you go, Tasha, get out of there. And at least you're not even going to do anything. She ain't going to warn them or nothing. Damn, Tasha and Kiara looking good. Yeah, take that, take that with you. Take that with you. Hey, but didn't I say that this wasn't going to be over between the Vaya, Havoc, and them? I told y'all Havoc and the Vaya was going to come back. They weren't taking it laying down. Hey man, oh God, Alicia, dude, Alicia remind me of this girl I went to college with, man, like this white girl that she was hood as shit, man, she was hood as shit, it was funny. What you doing, Eddie? That's not what he does. That's a disqualification. Oh! Yo, Eddie, what? Yo, Sammy and uh, Shamrock rubbing off on you, dog. Damn. Oh, this motherfucker went full fledged crazy. I mean, I guess you going against a bunch of crazy motherfuckers, you would turn no crazy yourself. Damn, Eddie. Was that necessary? But I mean, Ron has been acting like an asshole, so I guess it couldn't, ha couldn't have happened to a better guy. Madam Miguel. This is interesting. This is really interesting because this dude is good, man. Sammy. Oh, got him. Got him. So, if y'all know what the details is about uh, Trey Miguel, let me know. So, is he actually... Like I said, is he completely re-signed with Impact? Or he just, like, just testing the waters to where he really want to go? Oh, sick him. Damn. Hey, man, I mean. Is that necessary? Yo, and Moose just dips like, shit, ain't my problem. Yo, Scott Demore, where you at, man? Come handle this, man. How many times you got to come handle these dudes, man? No surrender, February 13th. Yo, man, you got to come handle this, man. Yo, Scott Demore, man. How many times you got to come keep these dudes on the leash, man? I stopped these dudes from wilding out, man. So, but yeah, that was unexpected. I did not expect to see Trey Miguel back. Um... Man, heavyweight uh, pitch is full right now, man. It is completely full. Uh, tag team. So, is uh, Matt and uh, Josh Alexander going to be a team now? We'll have to see uh, Rosemary, you know what I'm saying, picking up the win. So, not bad, not bad, man. Uh, Impact doing some good things. Uh, I just don't want them just to be on uh, the stepping stool for AEW, man. I want, it to, I want it to be a give and take. That's my whole thing with the process, so. All right, y'all, so anything that happened that I missed, you know what I'm saying, y'all hit me up about that and what y'all think about everything that's been going on. So with that being said, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. JV Lewis, y'all be safe out here. 
catch y'all on the rebound check out the patreon hit the notification button check out the twitch gaming channel check me out on tiktok check out the memberships and i'll see y'all good people next video peace